All right, we got Milk versus the man, the myth, the legend, uh, Phoenix Suns veteran Ricky Rubio, point guard in the NBA for like 27 years. Solid player. And uh, it's, 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 Peach, it's Peach Marth. We'll be here for like 45 minutes. It's fine. I have a storied hatred of this matchup. I want anybody that's watching this video right now, I want you to Google uh, Peach versus Fox and look at the game times. And then I want you to Google Peach versus Marth and look at the game times. And I swear, I think I did this like a year ago, and the, the top results were Summit sets, and it was Leffen versus Armada, and then it was Mewtwo King versus Armada, both from Summit. And the, the like Peach Marth one, or no, no, no the, the, the Peach Fox one was like 22 to 30 minutes. And then the Peach Marth one was like 58. It was insane. This matchup takes forever. But it's fine, it's melee. Everybody loves melee. I think a uh, a big thing as a as a as an aspiring spacing main myself, I think of uh, Marth as the spacing character, and I think of Peach as the the trading character. And the thing about Peach as the trading character is she trades because she has huge moves, but against Marth, her moves aren't huge. Marths are bigger. She doesn't trade. She loses. She gets outspaced. And it sucks. You know what doesn't suck, though? When my man Michael, by the way, comes on comms. Okay, let's try this. If the moment I start coughing, like... <laughs> too, oh, wait, what you gotta do? Am I not on? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Can you still hear yourself? Okay. Hello? Yeah, yeah, we hear him. Okay. Uh, say something? Yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Say something again. No, 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 I don't hear you. So this is two. Yeah, this is your eleven. So we'll just leave it at max. Five, yeah. But you can just leave it. Perfect. Okay. Just Hell yeah. Says, just remember two. Two. Okay. Anyways, let's talk about the game. Yeah, we got uh, Phoenix Suns veteran point guard Ricky Rubio versus Milk. Rubio. Yeah, that's his tag now. Oh, it's okay. Rubio. Rubi okay. NBA veteran point guard Ru Ricky Rubio. Yeah. yeah. Am I a bad person if I'm thinking of a different Rubio? Who's the different Rubio you're thinking of? I was a politician. And I, I hate myself. An American politician. Uh, I just hate you in general, but I don't okay. know who this politician is. <laughs> okay. Forget I'm, about it. <laughs> I'm, jo I'm joking. I'm joking. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about the game. All right. Actually, Rufio is actually popping off. This is a good matchup for him. So if there's a time for him to shine. Yeah. He's got like 12 assists right now. 12 assists. <laughs> yep. I'm not letting this go. I'm forcing him to change his tag. <laughs> I made a typo in bracket and I called him Rubio, and now it's his problem. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, you just downed the rep smash. He dies at 70. That's crazy. I said this matchup takes forever. This matchup's quick if you die like that. Yeah, so it's, yeah, that's the thing. It's like It takes forever if both players decide to make it. That's gonna last forever. Otherwise, they kind of both like hit hard if they land a hit. Yeah, no, like they play neutral for like two minutes straight, and then yeah. somebody dies. Somebody Pretty much. dies. Pretty much, yeah. Except it's sometimes Peach gets to like 110, and then Peach lives to 300. Yeah, yeah. So if uh, if the Marf misses the, t the opportunity to get like the F smash kill at the end of the combo, it's or over. like a downer, then then it's like okay, well it looks like you have to fight for another 100. percent Yeah. How <laughs> how do you think that like? How does that affect the the Marth mental? You're like you see that they're at like it's like 109. Oh, sick! I'm chilling. They're gonna die in a second, and then they hit like 111. And it's like <laughs> all of the depression that you've ever felt in your life comes roaring back to the surface, and you're like, I have to play another two minutes of this single speech stock. Yeah, and then after you go through all the phases of uh, it's, uh, what's it <laughs> the, <laughs> the five phases of grief. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So you start fishing, like I don't know which I don't know which one fits under where you start fishing for F smash. Just to get the, the desperation. Desperation. <laughs> pleading, pleading, right? That's yeah, what it is. Yeah. <laughs> Bargaining. Yeah, and then acceptance. You just like. Yeah, acceptance <laughs> is when you chip them to 340 and then kill them with down tilt. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we we've cracked the code. Yeah, that's pretty much. The Peach Marth is the five stages of grief. Yeah, except the worst part is, it's like the whole time is like, 
the barf is griefing, but it's actually much easier. Like the peach peach mains are just like more like uh, <laughs> well put together, so they're like every matchup I play is losing anyway. So <laughs> <laughs> actually, every matchup I play is losing anyway. So it's actually, it's kind of crazy that I'm getting the results that I am. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I'm joking. I've uh, never met a Peach player that wasn't a super homie. <laughs> yeah, I know that's true. All of the all of the Ottawa Peaches are so homie. Yeah. Oh, well, I was gonna say something that's like, uh, I don't know, I, uh, you know, I'm fucking. I'll say, is it that the more homie you are, the better you are? <laughs> peach. A peach. <laughs> oh God, no! Don't tell about that. <laughs> I'm gonna start. Bean's gonna start inviting me over for supper, being like, "Oh man, here, have this forty dollars, and every, and I'll take it, and I'll be like, this man's gonna beat me a bracket next time." <laughs> Actually, so that's, that's that's curse knowledge. Curse can't be known. Armada just like it owned a homeless shelter. <laughs> God. Okay, low key. Look at Milk's shirt right now. That's kind of a fire shirt. That I like that. Really fitting for the cottage vibe, the yeah. vacation vibe. He's like, he's he's chilling. He is definitely chilling. He's in like the flower field. <laughs> he's also racking, uh, running the XD tag. Yeah. Well, that was Will's tag. I think he uh, just didn't take it off. He didn't take it off. Oh. I don't even know if Will typed it in. It was there when Will played the first set of the day. Let's see. So. XD is definitely Will's vibe right now this tournament. True. Very true. Keep, talk keep talking about seeing chickens everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> he was seeing chickens. We were out at the lake and there was a buoy and he's like, look, a chicken. <laughs> I hate this guy. <laughs> What's your vibe this tournament? If you had to quantify it as an animal that you find on farms, what is your vibe this tournament? A bull. A bull? That's bold. Yeah. Yeah, you're just like, you're destroying everybody in your way. Pretty much. Or does that just mean you're like getting dash dance grabbed? <laughs> it's well, like it's like the cape that's getting pulled out of the it way. It comes together, like, right? Yeah. Who is dash dance grabbing you? No one. That's why I'm winning. <laughs> <laughs> you're the bull and there's no matador. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> that's unbreakable metal. <laughs> Nobody could beat that. Yeah. I'm actually, yeah. Uh, okay. So I... Rubio uh, brought it back. <laughs> yeah. Low key, Rubio playing like. I think. I'm trying his, to think of another. His playstyle is actually really good for these patient matchups. Is what I'm noticing because he's a very defensive Marth, and he likes to keep like hold his space and like. Uh, mm -hmm. And I'm noticing that it's like that's the kind of playstyle you need for like uh, these floaty matchups. It definitely is. Yeah. I think it's also really important to like know when you have the opening and just like go in and kill the peach at 70 when you have the chance to. Yeah. Like right and there, I, that last dog, uh, he got the kill at 100. He did, yeah, yeah. it was quick cleanup. Yep. He just got the edge guard. I think. Oh, we should probably be entering. It's 2 2 I think. Uh, player, which one is this one? Just type something and see if it changes. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. <laughs> four <-o. laughs> So, yeah. Okay. So, you know what I think uh, Milk is missing? What? Some turnip plays. I don't think I... Yeah, turnips were really important against Marth. Yeah, because... Oh, oh my up. god, that... That worked? Yeah. It's also... He seems to be, like, missing his opportunities to take hit and, like, win the matchup. Like, I find a lot of the time... Oh my god, they just both just fell off. <laughs> That's not the word I wanted, but... <laughs> they just fell. No, I feel like often Rubio will, like, go in with, like, an unsafe... Like, there. It's, like, unsafe yeah. forward airs, and he could get counter hit for it, and Milk is just missing that opportunity. And, like, and I, that's a huge part of, like, all of Peach's matchups. She's the trade queen. So to, to miss those opportunities is, like, I why are you even playing this character, right? It's true. Because you don't get that many opportunity in this matchup, so you really want to make uh, yeah you the like, most you, of it. You like trade like an up air with with Marth's forward air, like the Marth dies there a lot of the time. Yeah, it's it's a huge swing to miss stuff like that. Mm -hmm. But 
I mean, so far this game, he's kept it even. So, mm -hmm. what do I know? No, it's very... It's much more competitive this game. You can't down smash there. You have to slow cancel there. It's off the or, right side. Or, like, at least you do the down... The, the, the flow chart is, like, the down airs. So then if they don't SDI down, or, like, it'll, like, bring them up, and then you can air them. Can you down air Marth up B? I thought you just oh, lost. Oh, actually, good point. I'm yeah. not sure. But once he, like, landed on stage there and you're in front of him, you yeah. can't just down smash. Yeah, for sure. It sends him the wrong way if you yeah. DI right. So you have to do, like, a nair or even just, like, a forward throw if you don't have time. Yeah, no, for sure. I actually agree with that, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Down smash on shield wins out. <laughs> the classic, I was bad, but I got away with it. Yeah. I'd like to see Rubio start reading these peach air dodges to recover because it's mm. it's not like it's a like a crazy thing that milk is doing oh my god the snipe oh the cross the stage snipe it's 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 like a very normal peach thing to air dodge on the stage to get recoveries yeah so you have to be ready to read things like that it's not like it's a it's a crazy new innovation armada has been doing that since 2009 you have to know there's very now. limited things peach can do to come back so you gotta make sure that when you have that advantage yeah and, and there, he did it there. He got the forward air on the air dodge in. He gets the stock for it. Perfect. Yeah. You just gotta, you gotta clean them all up. You know? But I mean, he's got like three games to work with. Maybe he's just thinking like, ah, I don't want to focus that hard. You know? <laughs> it's fine. Conserve I'll... energy. Exactly. He plays probably someone crazy next round. Might as well just keep thinking. <laughs> the problem is when you start thinking and then you start being more relaxed, that's usually when 3-0 comebacks happen. Yeah, I would love it if you start thinking against me whenever you're up. It'd be great. <laughs> it has happened. <laughs> it has happened. Everybody, everybody's been there. Ah, that's it. Ricky Rubio takes it.